Mrs. Frances Cordell, the mayor, welcomes the president to Limerick, and her eloquent address was afterwards described by him as the best he had heard since he came to Europe. This Limerick visit was unscheduled until the day before, when the president first met the charming mayor. Although this visit was unexpected, thousands throng Green Park Racecourse to see him. After all, John Fitzgerald Kennedy had ties with Limerick because it was here his maternal ancestors were born. Limerick City, said the mayor, claims the Fitzgerald in you, and we too are proud of your mother Rose and her dynamic father, Honey Fitz. Indeed, all Ireland was proud of John Fitzgerald Kennedy. And perhaps Prime Minister Sean Lemass summed it up when he said, we are proud of his Irish origin and the honor he has brought to our race. At Shannon Airport, the presidential plane is ready to take him home to Washington. An Irish army unit lines the runway at Shannon, and John Fitzgerald Kennedy takes a last salute on Irish soil. In his farewell speech, he says, this is not the land of my birth, but it is a land for which I hold the greatest affection. The wonderful hospitality I have been showered with has indeed made me feel that I had come home. From the bottom of my heart, I say, God bless Ireland. A group of Irish folk singers whom he had heard earlier have composed a special song in his honor. He listens in silence with bent head. As he leaves, we recall the words of the Boston poet, John Boyle O'Reilly, and feel he expressed the sentiments of the Irish people. Thank God for one dear friend, with face still radiant, with the light of truth, whose love comes laden with the scent of youth. Then he went as he came, like a whisper in the dawn. But Ireland and her people were the richer for the visit of John Fitzgerald Kennedy.